So we're going to assume that we already understand how to solve equations. So let's take a look at this example here, 4x equals 32. The relationship between the 4 and the x is one of multiplication, so we're going to do the inverse of dividing. So we're going to divide both sides by 4, and we end up with x equals, oops, x equals 8. Question number 2, we have 9 plus a equals 23. We need to get rid of this guy first. So since it's a positive 9, I'm going to subtract 9 from both sides. And that way we're left with a equals 14. Question number 3, I have n being divided by 3, which equals 16. So n is being divided by 3, so I'm going to do the inverse. I'm going to do the multiplication part here. And that way this will go away, and I'm left with n equals 48. Okay, here's a whole new set of equations here. These are apparently two-step equations. We have 3n plus 19 equals 28. I'm going to, oops, I'm not going to add. I'm going to subtract 19 since it's a positive 19. I'm going to do that. That goes away. I'm left with 3n equals 9. And I'm going to divide by the coefficient of 3 there. And I'm left with n equals 3. Question number 2, I need to get rid of this guy first. So I'm going to subtract 34 from both sides. When I do that, I have negative 4b equals, what is that? Mm, 16, negative 16. And then I'm going to divide both sides by the coefficient there. And I'm left with b equals positive 4. Here I have 2 thirds y. I'm going to rewrite this actually because I need some space. Equals 15. I'm going to subtract 7 from both sides. That way this goes away and I have 2 thirds y equals 8. Now people see the fraction and freak out, but um, you can, you know, the rules are still the same. You're going to divide by 2 thirds or divide by 2 thirds or multiply the reciprocal. Same thing. I'm going to multiply here. Because that way, when you multiply by the reciprocal, it all cancels out to 1. And here I have 8 times 3, which is 24. And then the denominator is 2. If we further simplify that, we get y equals 12.